think there's a certain level of risk involved for anybody who seeks to take an intentional step to advance the mission of Jesus. I think it creates a tension that we, we have a sense of what's most comfortable, what's easiest for us, but at the same time we also have a sense of what's best going to serve other people and there's uh, there's a tension there and there's there's a risk when you step out for what's going to best serve others and for us along the way there were you know several key factors that led to us moving and selling our house one of them for me was a friend who a pastor friend in town who just said Brandon you're you're going to have to be willing to be moved and for me um, it was a conversation with Ashley Johnson we walked our neighborhood many mornings and she just said finally Becca as much as I hate not to tell you not to do this, it's really what you need to do. You need to move to Clemens. Um, and I also was in the middle of reading a book called The Church Planning Life. And in that book, there was a chapter about community. Um, and through that, God just really turned and softened my heart that yes, moving to Clemens and selling our home in Ardmore was exactly what he was calling us to do. And the, the irony of it is, and there really was a sense of grief for you. There has been at different points for me too. The great irony of it though is now that we've moved, we feel like we're in a situation that actually releases our identity for who our family is in the Lord rather than restricts it. And it's, um, you know, moving to the next town over is a lot different than moving across the ocean as some missionaries have done throughout the centuries, but I think of people who have said after they came off the mission field, I never made a sacrifice. And in a, in a much smaller way, I can see that because, you know, we've, we've taken a risk, we've made a sacrifice by moving, but actually what we've seen is in losing our life, we've found it. Uh, the Lord really, yeah, yeah, we're in a better situation as a family and better position to serve people in Clemens. You may not believe it, but we're coming up on four years that we've been meeting at Glen High School as the Ronaldo Church Union Cross campus, and we've seen God do tremendous things. People become Christians, people get into community groups. We've seen the 75 or so people that we came out to Kernersville with uh, grow to probably upwards of 200, and on and on and on. But Ashley and I, as we've talked about the Union Cross campus, as we've just prayed and sought the Lord, have felt led by God that we can't continue commuting to community. We just can't do it. We have to be in the midst of the people that call Ronaldo Church home, that live in and around Glen High School, and the other people in the community to impact them, to influence them. And so, we're standing on a plot of land in Weldon Village on Highway 66 that we've purchased. Mm -hmm. and we're going to build a house here, we're going to sell our house and move out here and do life in the midst of everyone in Kernersville. Well, it certainly wasn't without struggle and a lot of wrestling that we decided to move here. Becca and Brandon and Barrett and I live very close together in Ardmore. We love the Ardmore neighborhood in Winston-Salem. We've lived there our entire marriage. And to leave that neighborhood and the schools that our kids have been in where they've been flourishing, it's really, it's a step of faith for us to trust God with our kids, to trust God with everything we've known in our marriage in terms of living in Winston. But we just had some wonderful conversations about, you know, we only have one life to live and we want to spend our days serving Jesus and making Him known the most that we possibly can. And so we just said, you know what, we, we will not worship Ardmore and we will not worship our house and we certainly will not worship the schools that our kids have been in, but we're gonna follow Jesus and trust him with our family and uh, with our finances and, and all those things. And so here we are in Weldon Village, so excited to be a part of the special community that they're building here. And when we see these plots of land all around us and the houses that are being built right now, we just don't see dirt, but we see visions of families and kids and grandparents who will be moving in here and lives that that we can be connected to and influence and be influenced by and so that makes us very excited and it's so worth saying yes to follow god here